Okay, so now we're going to look at the block method or the cartridge method. So this is what a Mason B block looks like. Essentially, it's a set of slabs that has been stacked together and kept together with some thick rubber bands in this case. And the block has the uh, six inch length, just like the cardboard tube, and uh, it is comprised of a bunch of 516 holes. And the way those are made up It looks like this. So you've got this sandwich of slabs and when they are brought together, as in this example here, you can see that uh, you get uh, seven holes in this case or seven tubes, each six inches long with a diameter of 516. And then when the whole thing is squeezed together that's how you get the block. So one of the things that we like about the block method is that it's pretty easy to clean. You just open it up so it kind of looks like this. Uh, first you'll remove the cocoons and then you can come in and clean it all out and what you'll find in here is a mixture of debris uh, such as feces that the cocoons have expelled, um, pollen from failed nests and also pollen mites and the pollen mites are the ones that really cause the the damage. And over time, if they're allowed to accumulate, they will potentially cause the population to fail. So it's a really good idea to clean it out every year. The nice thing about this is that instead of having the bees um, in a tube like this, where you're, you believe that you've got a good set of bees, but you don't know. There might be that there's a lot of failed bees back in here. You don't know. The only way to find out is to pull it all apart. With the block method, you can see it, it's immediately obvious when a, um, when a cocoon has failed. And so you can see what's viable and what isn't, and what looks viable, you can clean it. Let's start with putting this together. So the first thing we do is get this block set up in here. It needs to be nice and secure because <coughs> if your nest does get blown around a bit, then uh, this thing is just going to fall out. So, we like to use this uh, material here. This is uh, corrugated plastic and we fold it up like this and we use it essentially as a wedge. <coughs> we just jam it in here. <coughs> At various points. This stuff is pretty cheap so you, know, you don't have to worry about using a lot of it. And uh, we might need to make a little more, so we'll get our shears and we'll just cut up, cut up some more strips. And you see you just fold this stuff up. This actually gets fairly tricky to handle handle because it's quite springy. And then I'm gonna put one up here with a little more pressure and then see if I can get one in here. I'm gonna fold this not quite so many folds and so I can just slide that in there. Okay now we test it. That's what I like to do. Let's uh, see if it's gonna fall out and that looks good.